Today I want to talk about Bible covers, and that's something that uh, some people have been asking me. Uh, so let's talk about, let's start by, I don't even know where to start, there's a lot of things going on here, but let's start by saying that, let me show you something that I did. This is a small, I made the cover for this Bible. Now, let me just, this is a small, small Bible. I don't know if you can see it by comparison with my hand. This is my Bible, a small Bible. This is the cover for this Bible. Now, I made this one probably a couple of years ago. And um, before I go into details, I want you to see, uh, let me tell you what kind of leather we use here. This is a four to five ounce chestnut, light chestnut color English bridle. And the inside is uh, four to five ounces vegetable tan untreated. This has not been treated. Um, this one is how they came from the factory and this is the cover. Now, this is the stitching. Let me show you what I did here. You know, I like to do things that are simplified. I don't like to get complicated with things because that's more work and it just doesn't pay. Um, this is the inside of the Bible. You know, it has no lining and it has two packets. Now, I don't know if you can notice, but this packet is bigger and this one is a little bit smaller. Okay, I will explain to you why I made that. Actually, this is my son's Bible. This is the Bible that he takes to college. And I know that I made this Bible way before he went to college. So I don't know exactly how old is it, but it is old. And also, let me show you. I don't actually know if you can see it here. This Bible has scratches, marks, bites. There's a huge mark over here. He, you know, kept, you know because, you know, my son, he goes from place to place and things like that and just wear it where and there and things like that so um, it shows you also has still have those burnished beautiful beautiful edges absolutely gorgeous still today still the same absolutely gorgeous so let me put this Bible in and I will show you I have some papers here let me take those out some more papers here things like that okay so now this one uh, let me see this one comes here yep now I made this bubble in a way that is very easy to set it up all you have to do is slip in the flaps of the back cover and you all set good to go there you go good job Edgar okay so here's your Bible all set done now remember I spoke to you and I said that I wanted to show you why I made small packets. So this one is your small packet, this one is your big packet. The reason I made this one is because I know that my son carries carries small notes, small papers, things like that, little notes that he keeps for himself. So I put them in this packet here. He puts them in the small packet right over here. So this is easy access. The bigger packer, <clears throat> the, you can also put things over here, don't get me wrong, but this bigger packer is just to have more hold of the uh, Bible itself, <clears throat> so it doesn't come loose or falls out of the um, cover easily. So here is the Bible, okay, and uh, hold on a second, my dog is here, I don't know if you can, uh, no, 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 nanny, no, I'm sorry about that. Um, so here is the Bible. This is the one that my son takes to college. Look at those edges. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can see them here. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I also have a couple of Bibles here. This is my wife's Bible. This one. Here. Okay. Now, this one is set up different. I was going to make a cover for this, but my wife asked me to make a cover, leather cover, with a zipper. I do not like zippers and it's not that for whatever reason the problem is that this Bible doesn't have a zipper and it's perfectly fine this one does with time this by this zipper is gonna totally fall apart uh, if I was to make a if I was to put a zipper over here which I could have done okay the first thing we'll go in this cover is the zipper. With time, the zipper is gonna have to totally fall because it's cloth. It's you know it has uh, it's, it's a piece of cloth there with the zipper. Whether it's a plastic 
or a metal zipper, it doesn't really matter which time it's going to go. But this one will stay intact. So, and I don't think it's nothing wrong with having it without the zipper. So, this is a little bit bigger. Let me show you. Okay, I'll, so this one is a little bit bigger, and you can see it from here. Okay, so eventually, eventually, when this one totally falls apart, I will make a leather cover for that one. So let me put that on this side now, and let me show you my Bible. This is my Bible. Now, my Bible was, was given to me by my wife, uh, but I have not gotten the chance to make a cover. Eventually, I will, because I want it to be nice and protected. But when I talked about on the Etsy store about three different price, uh, one price for all, obviously this one is a smaller, this one is a medium size, and this is a big Bible. The price that I quoted for $250 is this Bible, the big Bible. Okay, now let's say for instance you're interested on me making you a cover. All covers, more or less, the only difference will be your choice of leather. Other than that will be more or less the same the same style. Now my son asked me not to do anything with this leather in front or back. Don't put any names on it, just put our logo on it, which is fine. But for any other cover, you can put the Holy Bible and you can put your name over here. It's all included in the price. If your Bible is in good shape like this Bible, I will give you credit of $50. I think the best way to find out exactly what it is that I put in the Etsy store is to go and find out what's it, what the policies. Whatever it says there is that what we'll do. Also, if you decide to ever make a cover for your Bible, what I would suggest you to do is give me a call first and we'll talk about it. Because obviously, I'm not going to charge you $250 for this one. I'm probably not going to charge you $250 for this one because it's less expensive. However, you can... You can argue the point that you can get um, cheaper covers from somewhere else. Yes, but let me tell you something. This one, this leather is guaranteed for life. Lifetime warranty. This Bible is going to go to my grandkids, to my son's grandkids, and on and on and on. Because this is never going to fall apart, ever. Never. Okay, it's going to show, it's going to show, you see here? It's gonna show scars, tears, drops, you know, dents, all kinds of things. But it will remain intact forever. So, three different types, sizes of, of um, Bibles. <clears throat> Let me just organize that. This one, two, and three. I don't know if you can see it here. I'm just gonna back up a little bit. So you have here, one, two, three, okay. Um, the quarter price for $250 is this one here, which is the big one. And again, if you want to have one made, all you have to do is call me and we'll talk about it. Uh, the materials that we're going to be using for this are, as always, top-notch US-made leather. Okay, and everything else is 100% handmade, embedded stitching, engraved with your name on it, the whole bit. We're just going to go all out and we're not going to cut any corners, we're just going to do it right particularly when we're talking about the holy book. All right, folks, any questions, please give me a call. You know where to find me. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.